Hi everyone, this lesson is the second part to the review for the Connex test that you're going to be taking this week. So continuing this uh, video from the other day, from part one, um, the first question you're going to see is 11 again. Name the conic, write the equation of the conic in standard form. So for this equation to be in standard form, um, you would need a one here. Um, identifying this conic, you would say this is a hyperbola. Um, it's a hyperbola because it does have an x squared term and a y squared term. Additionally, it has a minus sign. So that distinguishes it between an ellipse. Um, what we have here um, is this nine here that in order to put this in standard form, I do need to divide everything by nine. And in this case, this is gonna give me one right here. We're gonna have y minus two quantity squared over 36 minus x minus three quantity squared over nine is equal to one. This is the equation in standard form. Another way of writing that is negative quantity x minus three is to put the x squared term first, um, which is acceptable as well. Uh, y minus two quantity squared over 36 is equal to one. So this is the equation of my conic in standard form. Um, what we have is a center of the conic of the hyperbola is gonna be at three comma two. So we're gonna go over three uh, one, two, three, up two. So there's the point. Um, in the x direction, you are going to go what's underneath the x in both directions. So the square root of this value here, because it's negative, that means that this value right here is my b squared term. This is my positive term, so this is my a squared term. So what we're going to do is in the x direction, I'm going to go the square root of nine, which is three. So one, two, three and one, two, three, and you would need to label these points, like you would say that's zero, two, et cetera. Um, and those are the end points. Um, from in the y direction, I'm gonna go six, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna go six up and six down. Now, because this is a hyperbola, I don't connect these dots. It's a hyperbola, which means that I'm gonna make a box. If this was an ellipse, of course I would connect the dots, but I'm not, it's not an ellipse. Um, for my hyperbola, these are my asymptotes right here. So putting in my asymptotes there and there. Um, in Because the x squared term is negative, that means that my graph, it will be positive on the y axis. So it'll flip up this way. It'll just follow the asymptotes this way and this way right here. Okay. Um, additionally, you have your asymptotes from the point three comma two, your asymptotes will go from there. And so you're gonna go up six over three. That's the same thing as saying um, up two over one. So anyway, uh, you have foci or focal points are gonna be at using these, this equation, c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So you're gonna have c squared is equal to 36 plus nine. So C is equal to the square root of 45, which is the same thing as saying plus or minus uh, three root five. So from three, two, because they are on the Y axis, my focal points will be inside the parabola right here. And you're gonna have three comma two plus or minus, because there's your two, three root five. And then you'll have this point as three comma two, uh, excuse me, that'll be three, two plus three root five. This will be two minus uh, three root five. Okay, writing them just as focal points, you could just always write them like this, three comma two plus or minus three root five. Um, this question says, find the focus point of this parabola. So I'm gonna rewrite this parabola. It goes negative 16 times the quantity x minus four um, is equal to y plus two quantity y plus two quantity squared. Um, I like to rewrite this. I know some people will keep this number here. Um, however, I'm gonna move that over to the other side. So I have the quantity x minus four equals negative one over 16 times the quantity y plus two quantity squared. This is the equation in vertex form, okay? This value right here that I have right there, that value is my A term. That value additionally is 
equal to 1 over 4P. P is the distance between my vertex and my focus point. So graphing this, my vertex is going to be at um, my vertex is going to be at quantity parenthesis four comma negative two, and so I'm going to draw over four down two, and so there's my vertex point. Okay, from there, um, I'm going to go. Uh, let's see here. Let's set this up and go one over four p is equal to one over sixteen. So I have negative. 4p is equal to 16, so p is equal to negative 4, which means that my graph is going to go either down or to the left 4, depending on what my graph actually looks like. See right here, if my graph looks like this, a y equals positive x squared, my graph would go up like that. If it's a y equals, neg equals negative x squared, my graph goes like that. If my graph is x equals y squared, it'll be to the right. And if it's x equals negative y squared, it'll go to the left. So what happens here is this graph is an x equals negative y squared. So my graph is going to go like this to the left. It's going to look like that. Additionally, I know that my focus point is at negative 4. So that means that right here is my focus point right there. And that value is going to be 0, negative 2. And that's the question, find the focus point. So we did that. Just to let you know, if I wanted to find the directrix also, I would go two in the other direction. And this equation would be over four plus two. So it'd be what, x equals six? Oh, excuse me, because it went over four, it wouldn't be x equals six. It would be x equals um, a four plus another four. So that would be eight. So it'd be x equals eight. So let me move that over there and put that right there. So this question says, find the equation of the parabola that has a focus point at 4, 2. So we're going to go over 4, so 1, so 1, 2, 3, 4, up 2. So there's my focus point at 4, 2. So I put an F there to remind me that that's a focus. Um, I also have a vertex at over 1, up 2. So I have a vertex point right here at 1, comma 2. It means that, remember, your focus point is always going to be cupping inside here, like that. So this graph is an x equals y squared graph, okay? So from here, it says find the equation of the parabola. So we know our vertex point is at 1, 2. So that means that for my vertex point, um, because this is an x equals y squared, we're going to go x minus h equals a times the quantity y minus k quantity squared, my vertex point being 1, 2. I'm going to put that here, so it's going to be x minus 1 equals a times y minus 2 quantity squared. a is the distance right here of 1 over 4p, p being the distance between my vertex and my focus. This value is over 1. This value is over 4. So that means that if this is over 1 and this is over 4, this distance here is 3. So that means this value here is 1 over 12. Okay? So my final equation is going to be x minus 1 equals 1 over 12 times the quantity y minus 2 quantity squared. Okay? And that's the equation in vertex form of my parabola. Um, and we did that. Okay. The next question says, find the equation of the ellipse that has vertices of 0, 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that's a vertice, and foci of 0, 4, so 0, 4. So this is my focal point here. So that means that my ellipse is going to go around like this, is what it looks like. Now, if um, find the equation of the ellipse that has vertices of 0, 5, um, I'm going to assume that my then my center is at zero zero which means i'm going to have an x squared over something plus a y squared over something else is equal to one now because this distance from here to here is five and this distance would be also five right here for my ellipse that means that in the y direction this would this would need to be a 25 here in the x direction, I don't know what that value is. I do know that this value here is my a value, 
the reason I know that is because my focus points are always on the same axis as my um, vertices, which would be my then major axis. So we're gonna use this formula, C squared is equal to A squared minus B squared. So we know C, C is this distance right here, which is four and four squared, so that would be 16 is equal to 25 minus B squared, which means that B squared is gonna equal uh, nine. And so there, this value right here is gonna be nine. So the equation of my ellipse, okay, is gonna be this value, this equation right here in standard form. Okay. Um, this question says, what is the directrix of this equation? Now this is gonna be a parabola because I have one squared term. So therefore, I'm gonna put this in this form. So negative eight times quantity y minus three is equal to the quantity x plus two quantity squared. I'm gonna get y minus three equals negative one over eight times the quantity x plus two quantity squared. Um, this is my equation in standard form. This is a y equals negative x squared, which means my graph will go upside down like that. I do know that my vertex is gonna be at negative two comma three. So go over two and up three. And so there's my vertex of the problem. Now, that being said, I also know that this value right here is equal to one over four P. So one over four P equals negative one over eight. I'm gonna cross multiply and I get negative four P is equal to eight. So P is equal to negative two. Now, because this is a Y equals negative X squared, I know my graph is doing this right here, which means that my focus point will be down two. So that point right here, my focus will be negative two, one. It also means that going up to that my directrix is gonna look like this. And so that, if I went up to get my to get my vertex, I went um, up three. If I go an additional two, that's a five right here. Because it's piercing through the y-axis, it is y equals five. That's the equation of the directrix that they asked. The next question says, what is the equation of the hyperbola centered at the origin? So here it is here. And with y-intercepts, this is actually my vertices at um, zero uh, plus or minus three, which means that I'm gonna be going up three. Let me move that point up a little bit. Up three and also one, two, down three. And those are my vertices, okay? Which means that my parabola is gonna pop, my, my hyperbola is gonna go up like this. Okay, my asymptotes are at y equals, um, that should be an x there, plus or minus uh, one half x. That's the equation of my asymptotes, which basically means from zero, zero, I'm gonna go up one over two, up one over two, up one over two, until I get to the same level as this. Or I could have gone up three and over six, Okay, and that would have also plus or minus up three over six, given me the same value for my asymptotes. So for my equation of my hyperbola, I'm gonna get x squared here, we're gonna get a y squared here equals one. Because the hyperbolas are on the y-intercept, that means my y-intercept is positive, and it means my x-intercept is negative. Additionally, it means that in the y direction, we went up three, which means that will be a nine. And going across six would be six to the right, six to the left, which would give me 36 right here. And so this would be the equation of my hyperbola centered at the origin. Um, so th that concludes the uh, part two of the review for the conic section. Um, there will be one additional video for review. Um, please watch out for that. And I hope that helped. Uh, thanks for watching.